In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to find Google Earth on your iPad or how to install it if it's not on your iPad, and then how to complete the Year 2 um, Google Earth lesson for this week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for um, Google Earth on my iPad. It should already be installed on there. So to find an app that's installed on my iPad, I drag down from the top and I get a um, search window. And in there I look up Google Earth. And this will search for all the apps that are on my iPad. And you saw it appear there. Um, go back to the search. There it is there. That's the symbol for it. So I click on or tap on the icon or the symbol and it will take me into the Google Earth app. The other way, if it's not actually already installed on your iPad, you can install it using the App Store. So again, drag down from the top to get my search um, bar open and look up App Store. And then in App Store, um, you use the microscope or the search um, tool and you look up Google Earth search. And if it's not already installed, it'll come up with a, um, a button like that one that says get. Um, but because I've already got it, it just allows me to open it. Um, so you can add it on that way. Or alternatively, you can use Google Earth in any Chrome browser. So that might be the other option um, of accessing Google Earth. Now, once you're in Google Earth, you can see it's a 3D model of the Earth. Um, and I can navigate to different places on the earth and even um, visit those places in 3D by using uh, my little man here called my street view. So let's look for a particular location. To look for a location, I use my search glass over here and I type the location. So I'm going to look for PLC Sydney and then I hit search. And what Google Earth will do is, once it identifies the location, it will basically fly you to the location. It gives me a little bit of a summary of what this place is. Um, you can see this little um, blue arrow over here is my fly to arrow, so it will take me there. Um, with some popular sort of tourist places, there might even be some, um, you know, take a tour button that you can click on. Um, and once you're here, there's a few things you can do. You can... Um, first, just close that so you're out of there. It'll give you a bird's eye view of the suburb um, and of the location. And so what I'm going to get you to do is actually do a street view. So to access the street view, over here on the, um, the bottom um, right-hand corner, you'll find you have some buttons. And one of the buttons um, is this little man here called Street View. So if I tap on him... I can actually then take my camera and go and have a really good 3D look at our location with him. So I'm going to go right here where it says PLC Sydney. So I'm just going to tap my finger on the location that I want him to go. And you can see that um, Google Earth will now load the street view of that particular location. So I'm quite close to the front of the school. So I'm obviously on that meter street um, gate and I can, you know, move around and have a good 360 view um, that's Croydon train station, um, so I can have a really, really good view of, um, of the location. Now, if I want to get to a better place, um, I can use my arrows to go forward and backwards. So I'm just going to go um, forward for the moment, just so I can get sort of to a point where I'm right at the front of the school. So I think this kind of location is pretty good. And once I'm happy with my location, I'm going to take a screenshot of that of it or a photo of the location. And I'll do that by pressing the home button and the power button at the same time. One, two, three. And you can see I've taken my screenshot now and it's at the bottom of the screen. Once I'm happy with that, I just press the arrow back and it will take me back to my street view. And then I can look for a new location. So I'm going to use the... Um, search bar again and this time I might look for um, a Sydney Harbour Bridge for example search and you'll see that Google Earth will now fly me to that new location and there it is there you can see Sydney Harbour Bridge here and it's quite a lovely view so if I click um, 
on the location you can see it now gives me a little bit more information and it sort of orientates me so I can get a better view of the location um, so while I'm here I'll take a photo and again I can zoom in and out and take a photo and then I can also use my street view um, man so I click on him and then just click on where I want to put him. So I'm just going to place him right in the middle of the actual bridge. Um, so now he's pretty much standing on top of Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, and I can have a really awesome look around, um, you know, Sydney Harbour. There's the Opera House and I can, you know, get quite a unique view or unique experience from this location. And again, I can take another screenshot. And then we're going to use those photos in the next activity where we make our Google map. So that's how you use and access um, 